Well, as businesses are starting to reopen here in Texas, you may be wondering about precautions you should be taking when you're heading out. And Dr. Brooke Goldner is joining us this morning to talk about some tips for those with compromised immune systems. Tell me a little bit about your story and your battle with lupus. Absolutely. So before I was a doctor, I was a patient for many years. I was diagnosed with lupus at 16. I had arthritis. I had migraines. And on top of that, I also had kidney failure. And so at 16 years old, I was told that I had six months to live because my kidneys were failing so quickly. And they had to use what was experimental medicine at the time to save my life. I was on high dose steroids. I was taking chemotherapy for two years. And thankfully, the medicines did save my life. And so that's why I decided to become a doctor. And then accidentally, um, about it's going to be 16 years soon, but 15 years ago, I changed my diet to what's called a plant-based diet, eating a lot of like vegetables and a lot of water and omega-3s. And after 12 years of being sick, all my lupus symptoms went away and my labs were normal. Wow. And it's been 15 years now that I've been lupus free. So after that happened, I actually went back into the research and understanding the immune system and nutrition. And I've been able to help people all over the world and here in Texas uh, reverse their diseases, whether it's psoriasis or rheumatoid arthritis or lupus by teaching them how to eat to enhance their immune systems. And so lately I've been getting a lot more questions about how do I enhance my immune system to fight viruses too? Which, you know, when you have an immune system that works properly, not only do you not have arthritis, but you can be more resistant to disease and infection as well. So for those that are battling autoimmune diseases, where can they get information on this, this diet that you're talking about and, and how can they follow it? Well, I actually teach the entire protocol online for free because I believe that good health should be a right to everyone. Uh, but for those who actually like to have something in their hands, I do have, I have a couple of best-selling books, Goodbye Lupus and Goodbye Autoimmune Disease, where I teach my protocols. Um, and I also uh, am very, very active on social media. So people follow me as Goodbye Lupus, and I teach every day different kinds of techniques to getting your health back, whether it's through de-stressing or how to get more vegetables in, like through green smoothies. Uh, so on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, if people look up Goodbye Lupus or GoodbyeLupus.com, I'm constantly teaching the information. Great information. All right, so managing your diet is one way to start. Uh, as you're heading out though, what do people with compromised immune systems need to keep in mind? Well. Right now, I really think it's best that everybody thinks of themselves as having compromised immune systems because with COVID-19, we really aren't good at predicting who's going to have bad outcomes. I mean, people with autoimmune disease, yes, if you have compromised immune system, but there are some people who are getting very, very bad symptoms who didn't even know they were sick. So I think everybody should follow these precautions. But one is, even though we don't really have statewide rules about wearing masks. Everybody should be doing that. Right now, they think that most of the infections are being spread by people with no symptoms. Mm -hmm. So think of your mask as a way of saying, I love you to other people. Just in case I have it, let me cover myself because I don't want to spread it. Uh, a lot of people feel very angry and restricted about it, but I think of it as an I love you. Just in case I have it, I'm going to wear this when I go out. But we should all be doing that. Uh, if you have a compromised immune system, you want to use as much protection as possible. So I also recommend eyewear. They've shown that you can get the infection through air particles into your eyes. So wearing goggles or glasses are a good idea. And if you have them, wear some kind of gloves when you go out and then take them out for your car, take them out, uh, you know, wear new ones there and then take them out again when you get home and then wash your hands or wash your hands extremely frequently. And actually in both cases, you should wash them. Well, thank you for your time this morning. I'm going to give the viewers your website so they can connect with you and find out a little bit more about that great diet that you were following. It's called goodbyelupus.com. Again, goodbyelupus.com.